Hey you YouTubers, it is Gizzy Greenfingers here and if you want to make yourself a tropical tropical like greenhouse I guess over the winter then this is the channel to watch not that I show you how I do it but I'm just like doing stages of what I've done so I put four lots of T5 lights right in look at that look at the brightness that is good and I've kitted it out with uh, aluminium foil. Just look how bright that is. And this is going to be for my Brazilian rain trees. My, my silk tree, possibly. Well, my Mosa Paduca. I've, I've got quite a few Brazilian. I've got quite a few um, tropical trees to put in. But yeah, we've got a long way to go yet. But I've we've got the T5 lights attached so next stage pow look at how bright that is just let the camera acclimatise and look what I've done I've got some I've got some fanage going on yeah so this this outlet this fan outlet is blowing in so you've got air coming in from the bottom and that's circulating all around and that's just a spare spare ventilation so that's all good that's all good but yeah that is the fan that's blowing out so that's circulating all the air and that is the fan that will blow no no that, that is the fan that blow out yeah that first fan is the fan that blow in how many shipyards you had Gizzy quite a few but but I still know what I'm doing. So yeah, that's the fanage. That is the fanage. And it's very nice fanage. I suppose you want to hear it. Hear it going in a minute. Now I've got to sort that cable up. Not happy with that. So I'm thinking of like some sticky bits just to put that cable between them T5 lights. And that is what I got. Ta-da! Yeah. I don't muck about. My hammer's in it. So yeah, they'll be getting stuck on, and then we'll be laughing. We will be laughing. I can assure you that. Can we start the fans, please? And there you have it, YouTubers. We got fanage going on, and they've got different speeds. So you've got like a slow speed, a medium speed, and then you've got your epic high speed. And that, de oh, that all depends on um, your humidity levels. Let's take a closer look at the situation. So this fan is sucking the air out of the um, enclosure. And that's sucking the air in. So that's that's your air intake out. And that's just a spare vent over there in the corner. But yeah, it's looking, it's looking good. It's looking, and we're getting there. We are getting there. So it said I'd do it, and I've done it. I finally had the time to do it. And yeah. Six quid that cost for 12 of them, little buggers. Yeah. Six effing quid Amazon job. But yeah, they've done the job. I'm happy. It was easy. It was easy, it's done the job. It'll just help with overheating. And there we got it. We got it. We got blind going on, man. We got blind. Yeah, no one said it was the best blind, but I can work with that. And without the blind, it's effing bright. And I can't be doing with that, it's your headache. But yeah, we've got a blind going on. I've got a new seedling heat map, but I can't pull it through that, that duct because my power supply didn't reach so I'm going to have to take that fan out and take all that crap out just to get that wire where that other wire's coming in from so yeah we've we've got a few more few more little bits to sort out but it's getting there it's getting there it'll soon be ready to put all my tropical trees in for overwintering in the UK 
so I bought a new bit of kit for, for keeping an eye on the temperature and the humidity. Um, and that is like a wireless thing. It costs me like 30 quid. That's a wireless bit. And then you've got that bit. That's for the outside. It says out, but out means in. Because the out is the in. And the indoors is that what I'm pointing at right now. That is the indoors. So that's the indoors, but out is in there. And um, that gave me a good, good reading of the humidity and temperatures that I need to make my plants thrive. Don't forget to subscribe to see the update. Gizzy Greenfingers.